bro, I don't You heard listen. it here first. I ain't going to follow you because your your timeline ridiculous and sus. I ain't going to talk don't talk to me with your hot swimming equal stuff. Keep it moving. Put your Dakamura in the closet. Anyway, let's look at this match. <laughs> I believe this dude had played Mad Gear and some casual. So he took a few games off him. So, you know, probably competent. Let's see how his opponent does. I'm not sure who that if, is. We'll see in okay. a second. So Nakuma is like, I was about to say, yeah, see so a Blanca? Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. This might be Des. Is this Des? Remember, I don't know faces. And That's there's not many Zeku players. And if we did know faces, this mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the option select. I know. What I, I was going to say, bro, I, I would. Chat, but I know they, they if I see a stuff. single Blanca, that's how I'm going to know it's like Midwest. Because Tom likes to tell me there's like 12 like Blancas in the Midwest or something. Like all the Utah scene did is all Blancas. See, remember like when Tom had that, it was like a Blanca. Blanca, Blanca only Blanca tournament. tournament. Yeah. I had, hadn't seen half these other Grandmaster, Master. I'm like, where are y'all from? Like, do y'all just crawl out? Like cockroaches? They're all from the Amazonian jungle that is Utah. Well, they can stay there. I ain't trying to play no, mm. no Blancas. Yo. Anyway, <laughs> who at home wants to – I mean, you see a Blanca on the screen, you're like, dog, please, just take my points. Now, speaking of characters that are maybe not so common, Zeku takes a lot of work to shine. Going up against uh, Kuma. Boomy, there we go. This is another Zeku play that I've seen every so often. It's East Coast right here. Okay. Rico with the Akuma. It's actually a matchup for Zeku that he does not mind fighting. I think it's an uh, easy 5-5 five, five right here. Zeku has a lot of tools to counter what uh, Akuma wants to do. And the B-Trigger 2 system is really good against air fireballs, so it makes people play more ground. Ooh, the buffers on the medium. Puts the palms on it. Okay, calling out the Meerkat. Okay, the trip guard with the, the sweep under the demon flip, and Boomy in a great position here, just keeping the frame traps tight. With the Koku, Ooh. yes sir, finds a finish. Too far out. Rico with the B-Trigger 2 loadout. Didn't see it come into play. The good thing about B-Trigger 2 is you get that earlier in the round, right? It's an easier B-Trigger to just get that going with the quickness, but you got to see it come into play. Get those custom combos that might maybe not finish half a round, but it might put you in a lead or at least close. I feel like we're seeing some execution mistakes from Rico. We're seeing a lot of like really early jump jabs mm -hmm. that I assume are supposed to be like TK fireballs that are just not coming out. And Boomy at this point, okay, Boomy's testing him now. It's like, all right, can you deal with this button? Yeah, you I cannot. Like, yeah, yeah. You, there's not oh my God, the disrespectful, deliberate drop. Yeah, looks like my friend right here, Rico, maybe a little bit new to the game. You know, he's trying out the, the different buttons out here, and Boomy goes for the crush, not changing up his game plan. And to be honest. And, you know, I'm just calling this, you know, from what I see from Rico. Maybe a little bit nerves or, you know, just, you know, panicking, whatever. Whatever it may be. Boomy, however, is just doing standing heavy kick, Koku's, non-committal things at a right. close range to make sure he gets the damage going, doesn't have to change the yeah. gameplay too much, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's a very simple and straightforward but effective, like, completely layer one game plan of, mm -hmm. like, this is all I really need to do. And the thing is, sometimes when you play against a player that it's hard to get a, a read on, mm -hmm. if you try to develop your game plan too much, you'll lose track of the matchup. Keeping it simple works out really well in situations like this. Mm. It's, uh, yeah. That wasn't even a counter hit. That no. was just a regular stand strong. Wasn't blocking. You'll learn today. Explosion. Oh. Now save him. Yes, sir. The cheapness with the post stun fun from this character. When you have the D-Skill locked up, locks you down. And that's a round. And that's actually game point for Boomy. He's on set point, I should say. Do you think after the jab reset post stun with the firecrackers, Boomy leaned over to Rico and said, watch this? <laughs> Man said, you want to see something nice? And it actually worked out. Usually that's the curse. You say you want to see something nice, you usually get pieced up. But not Boomy. I feel, I think one more sequence. Never mind. This is about to be the win. EX. Uh, with the amount EX. of scaling? No, oh, he's mind. alive. Even with the cool with the help, I've been so wrong today. Uh, but that two jabs. We'll do it. Rico, unfortunately, down to lose this. We'll be moving on. And again, it's like being non-committal, right? You, yeah. You, it, it, and this isn't about, you know, the skill level of a player, like how they're playing or whatever. It's just you wait until they show you something different. Yeah. You wait until they prove to you they do something different. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we can still have some time to uh, get those nerves off.